Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. We all love movies. We all, you know, we love them. Some of them good, some of them bad. All this opinionated, to be honest with you, man. Let me just give my opinion on this situation right here. We got to talk about some heroic flops. I'm talking about superheroes that flopped. Superhero movies, man. Some of them you might forgot about, man. Some of them I forgot about. Um, I just compiled a whole bunch of them that you might have forgot about, and we're going to talk about it right now. For starters, we got to talk about this one right here. This ain't a superhero movie, but I just want to talk about it's a flop because I ain't like it. This is all opinionated, man. This is my opinion. But I got to talk about this one first, man. This movie make me so upset. I'm talking about this right here. Coming to America too. This, oh my God. I did not like this. I hated this movie. The best part about this movie was uh, Wesley Snipes. And he wasn't even in the original. It's just something about this movie, man, that is on sit right with me. That the king go back to america because he had a baby mama that was not regal of him you know it happens people get baby mamas and stuff like that people be smashing and doing all that you know but it just didn't sit right with me because he didn't seem that type of guy that would be frivolously out there doing his thing and going back to another country and having like it, it didn't seem right that whole uh, Maybe I should do this for another video, man. But y'all know what I'm talking about. You seen Coming to America too? It was not right just because of that point right there. He had a baby from another woman over there. And mm, I ain't like that, man. Gemini Man. This is supposed to have been a good movie, but it did not do nothing, man. For the box office. I mean, you know, Gemini Man with Will Smith and Will Smith. This is not good. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say about it. Y'all tell me how y'all thought about this movie. I ain't really got much to say about it. Uh, they did that CGI of him looking like a uh, younger him, and ugh, ain't nobody really talk about it. Who, who else? At the Earth, another Will Smith movie. Nobody talked about this. It came out and went. I think it was like him and his son doing another movie together. I think they did what? The Pursuit of Happiness. They did that, and mm. Mm -hmm. That would all that good. We finna get into the real superhero movies. Like this one right here. This is a heroic flop. Disney made this movie, man. John Carter. When this came out, they they made it look like it was gonna be something. I seen all the the commercials and the the trailers they had for this, and this looked good. But I all right, what did he what did he do? I mean, I only know the actor who played this dude, man. I could have looked up, but y'all can do it yourselves. You know what I mean? But I don't know this guy. I don't know nothing about him. I don't know John Carter. I don't know, like, mm -mm. Let's not talk about John Carter no more. All right, who else? What's another bad movie? Oh, Disney again. The Lone Ranger. Man. First of all, y'all let y'all biggest character actor play Tonto, an Indian or Native American with a bird on his head. And I thought it was going to be good when I seen it, man. Army Hammer. I don't know if he eating people still or whatever. This came out, what, 2013, it says? But I don't know, man. I, this was before my time, The Lone Ranger, so I didn't really had no connection to it. Like, you got to be old to see this and be like, oh, the, wrong, the Lone Ranger coming out. But I thought it was going to be good, and it wasn't. It really wasn't a good movie. The action was all right, but the story, it just didn't, ugh, it didn't keep me there. Oh, The Green Lantern. I don't know what happened with the Green Lantern, man. The Green Lantern, it must have been something good. Um, I don't know. That mask looked like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> like, like a fruit roll-up spread across his eyes, man. DC. Um, My man Ryan Reynolds, though, he didn't kick back, though. He didn't start doing that Daredevil. Not Daredevil, but... um. Damn, Deadpool. I'm, uh, he started doing Deadpool, and he doing good now, man. He done brought that to light. But he did that right there, man, that Green Lantern. That was not good. It did not look good at all. Like my camera not looking good right now. Focus. There we go. Who else? Ugh. Morbius. Now, I don't know what they was trying with this, man. I think this is because Sony had this, um, this Marvel property. 
um, Sony had. That's why it came out bad because Sony don't be doing good with their movies, man. Did I know? Did I seen? Like, I ain't really seen too many. Um, the Amazing Spider Man's. I ain't watched them. I ain't like um Garfield. He was kind of you know weakling. I ain't like that Spider Man. None of those. Um, Venom wasn't that good. The first one or the second one. I kind of like the second one a little better with what's my man name. Woody Harrelson playing Carnage, but it could have been better. And this Morbius, I couldn't even get through it. I ain't gonna front. I couldn't even get through this movie. When I seen this, I, I got like halfway through it. It's like, yep. I'm gonna turn this off, man. It was getting sleepy. Like, and I ain't never went back to it. I probably got like 30 minutes into it. 30, 45. It, it wasn't long. It was not long. It was not good. Madam Webb. Same with Madam Webb, see? And that, man, come on, man. How y'all gonna have... What's her name? Sydney Sweeney in there and not glorify her assets. Y'all know what I mean? But this movie right here, I ain't see this. I seen it. But I didn't see it. I think I got like 20 minutes and two. I think they were still on the damn train. The beginning of the movie when they first getting together. Me and my wife was watching this. We was like, nope. It's not a good movie. Not a good story. I don't know. Flop. I ain't like that. What else I ain't like? Oh, do y'all remember this? The Spirit? This is supposed to have been a good movie. What's my bad day? I forgot the dude day, man. Who was making it? He made that, um... Damn, what's that other movie? Um, Sin City. So it's black and white with the blood turning red and all that stuff. I think which color was a good character in here. Um, what's the black dude name? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Samuel Jackson. He sounded like that in every movie he got. Y'all know how Samuel Jackson talked, man. But he was good in this movie, man. He could have been a great villain. They, they didn't utilize him right. I don't even know who the actor who played this guy is, what he doing else in life. But the spirit could have been good just because um, Sin City was good. And uh, something about that black and white. That um that feel to it, that comic book feel, and somebody gets shot and the blood turn, you know, you get to see the redness in it. But that movie didn't do good. Wow, Phantom. A lot of people probably don't remember this movie, The Phantom. Billy Zane, I remember this movie. Mm mm. Terrible, terrible. Maybe maybe it wasn't terrible. Like these movies, I ain't saying they terrible, but I ain't like these movies. All this opinionated, so all these coming from me. Um, I think he was coming off, what do you call that movie? The Titanic or something? He was doing the Titanic. So that's why he was getting love and doing this. The comic, I don't even know what comic book this come from. The fan, This ain't DC. This ain't Marvel. This Image. I think Image Comics. Maybe the same thing to do, um, what do you call it? Spawn. Spawn wasn't that good either. Spawn was alright. Like the the look, the aesthetics of it look good, but the movie, mm -hmm. wow, the Rocketeer. I remember this was pretty good, man. I came front. This was pretty good. I liked it. This liked this. I said liked it. I liked it. Did this? This was all right, man. I don't know. I don't know if it should be on the list, but it was. It could have. It could have did more. They could have did more with this. I don't know who this dude is either. Um, I never seen him in nothing else that I remember of, but. I like I kinda like that helmet he had on and that little jetpack he was you know the Rocketeer. That was pretty dope, man. That was for for back in the nineties when they came out, man. That was alright. I remember that. Jupiter Ascending. I ain't even see this movie. I ain't gonna front. I did not see this movie. I heard it was so bad though. Along with um what's the other movie, man? I forgot the name of it. That movie, what's my man played, man? That terrible movie that um, John Travolta played. It. Battlefield Earth. That's what I thought it was something like, man. This was bad, too. This was supposed to be a bad movie, too. I ain't see this, man. Channing Tatum. Um, he didn't spend the block, though. He was in that Daredevil movie. Not, damn, I keep saying Daredevil. But he spent the block, and he got on that um, Deadpool movie. He's doing Gambit. And he's... Um, Got a nice reception for that, man. My head look crooked. All right. Jupiter Ascending. Stupid Ascending. It was stupid. The Mummy. Oh, my God. I thought they was going to reboot The Mummy with this from with, with um Tom Cruise. 
I think Brendan Fraser had it at first, and he did a good job, man. I like the Brendan Fraser for what it was. But it, it ain't this, I don't know. This right here didn't do good at all. I think it was trying to be too dark and too many elements. and You know you know what I mean? Just trying to be too mysterious. Like, y'all ain't had to do all that. So I guess that's why y'all didn't do so well with this movie. Um, Tom Cruise, I thought they had, like, they was going to make a few more. A few more of these movies, but they didn't never do it because that, that first one flopped so bad. So the Mummy reboot, they never get rebooted. Oh my God, I hate to put this one up here. Still, Shaquille O'Neal, still. That movie was bad, yo. It was so, oh my God. And I'm a big Shaq fan, yo. This is one of my favorite basketball players of all time. But this was bad, yo. Especially when they try to bring the element of his basketball into it. Into, this, is, this is supposed to be like John Henry Steele, comic book character, Superman, the black Superman. He messed that all up, man. Um, the suit was trash. The helmet was trash. He had on. The he had a he, what he have? He had a sledgehammer to, to shoot stuff. <laughs> man, it was like yo, they were trying to get capitalized off his size and off his name and stuff. Like he was just leaving Orlando Magic, going to the Lakers. They were trying to utilize and get all that shackness in there. But they said they tried to bring his basketball element to it because I seen the movie when it first came out and. When they tried to make him shoot a free throw of a bomb, like he was, I don't know if I can hit these. He's like, like, shoot the like shoot the bomb. You got to do it. Throw it in the trash. It was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I got to bring that up. He can't shoot free throws. But still, it was still a piece of shit. That's what they <laughs> The Eternals. They should have left this movie on the damn cutting room floor. I did not get this movie. I couldn't watch it. I, it, it. It lasted too long. It was sleepy. It's dark. It was like the woman verse, man. All this. Like that's what they did, man. It was like that that's that at the we call that end game. I was looking at my um Disney channel last night, my Disney Plus, and I was like, man, at the end game it went all women. It had like Eternals. It had like um, what we call the witch, the mother witch, the what's her name, the Scarlet Witch. If you look at your Disney Plus, you look at the timeline at the end game. It's like all women movies. Um, the Marvels, Captain Marvel, She Hulk. Oh, oh my God, it was just like they went. But this right here, man, I I can't, I don't know. Like, I don't know who powers is what, what who. Ain't nothing to stick to it, man. Like, I seen it one time. I only seen it once. But ain't nothing to hold me there to it, man, to this movie right here. It's nothing. It was too boring and long, man. It's like, ugh. Like, ugh. I could not watch this movie, man. I didn't. I couldn't understand it, yeah. It was just too dumb and long and drew out. We. It's like, what's that other movie like that, man? A lot of people, Dune, that new Dune, it's like, ugh, everybody eyes blue and they got a little thing in their nose. Looks stupid. You got, what's that girl named that's real pretty? The little girl. No, 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 no. no. Not the little girl. She grown woman. What's her name? She a little bitch. What's her name? Um, Zendaya. Zendaya. She was that pretty. She wanted to be a little thing in her nose and some blue eyes looking stupid. I'm like, man, turn this shit off, man. I don't want to see that, man. Shazam. I don't want to see that either. Shazam. Oops, Shazam was bad, man. The second one, the first one I thought was, you know, just getting this comic book character into, you know, getting him on TV on the big screen. But this dude right here, and I think he finna mess his career up, man. What's his name? Sean Levy, Steve Levy, something Levy, Zachary Levi, something like that. Whatever he doing, man, um, he need to get out of this role of these little kid movies. Because I think he doing the purple crayon now. He did all, like, he supposed to be a kid that turned into a man in Shazam. And, you know, he playing that little dorky, ooh, 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 kooky role and shit. And he doing the same thing with that kid with the purple crayon. He's standing in that kid movies, man. You gonna, hey, I don't know. But Shazam Fury of the Gods Part 2. I could not watch that, man. I got, like, 20 minutes into it and had to turn it off. It's like, yep, it's dumb. They started bringing all the extra, um, not Eternals, but the extra Shazams in there and 
I was like, oh shit, Megan Good at Eternal. I mean, damn, I keep saying Eternal. See, these movies, both of them stupid, man. The Eternals and this. Both of them just, ugh. But like I said, Shazam 1 was all right just because, you know, you're getting the, you're getting, you're getting the lore of what he going to be and what he going to do and first time on camera. It wasn't a bad outing, but that second one was, ugh. Black Adam, the same way. Black Adam must have been good. I could not watch this movie, man. This movie was stupid. Not that it was stupid. I seen it, it was good. I watched it one time. But I think they underutilized the character, especially the um the, the costume of um what's the name? Hawkman. Hawkman costume was so good. Um what's my man name with the with the unks? Dr. Fake. Oh my god, he was so cool. But damn the rock. This big for nothing, and I don't know, man. The Rock be messing up movies to me. Once The Rock come to your franchise, man, it's over with, yo. I don't know. He a good something. He need to be something else, but I don't know. He a good actor, I guess, but I don't know. The Rock, he be messing up franchises, man. He did the same thing with um Fast, with the Fast and Furious. They start going out of space and all this stuff. It used to be a race car movie, Fast and the Furious. Y'all remember that? Fast and the Furious. I'm Dominic Trader. Family. Throw his arms out. Family. It's all about family. What happened? They don't street race no more. Now they them inspect the gadget. They always got gadgets on their cars and they can flip cars, do something. They still in tanks, submarines like Dominic Toretto. How's you a, a street racer? Now you got a submarine in the tank. Family. Jonah Hex. Um, I'm not too familiar. I'm familiar with the movie, but I don't know, man. I don't know if this was a flop or not. I mean, a lot of people not talking about it, but this was all right, man. I kind of like the element of this, the dark, the dark element. What is it like? Um, DC Majestic, some shit like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. The the other element, but Jonah Hex. I, I kind of like this, man. I ain't gonna front. This is pretty dope to me. He do good in the box office. Um, what's her name? I don't know her name, man. I forgot her name. Megan something. Megan Fox. That's her name. She was alright in the movie. Yeah. She she was just a looker. That's a uh, sorry movie. Constantine. Wow. Now this came out pretty early in the early two thousands. Or the middle 2000s. I don't know when it came out, man. But when I seen it, it was looking like, man, I'm tired of seeing him. And he didn't did all these Matrix movies and all this stuff. I ain't even really, um, want to watch this movie. But I did watch it on uh, the cartoon version of it. And I watched the cartoon version of Constantine. I'm like, oh, that's that movie that, um, what's my man name? I keep forgetting people's name, yo. Keanu Reeves. I said, that's that movie Keanu Reeves did. So I went back and watched it. It was pretty good. This movie's pretty dope, so... I don't know if I can call it a flop, but you know what I mean? It's pretty dope. So I kind of like this movie, Constantine. But um, the cartoon is good, too. And the element of, like, magical spells and stuff inside of the superhero realm. It was pretty good, so I don't know. I might take this off. It's too late now. Y'all seen it. But Constantine, pretty dope. Blue Beetle. Um, I haven't seen this movie. So I can't say if it's a, it's a flop or it's bad or not. Like I said, all oh, this is opinionated, but I ain't hearing nobody talking about it. It's supposed to be a superhero movie. It came out, nobody talking about it. This came out like the same time that Flash movie came out, like the the Flash 2. And I can't, I ain't going to front. The Flash 2 movie is all right. Or was it Flash 1 or Flash 2? Or is it just the Flash? I don't know how many movies that Flash made, but you know what I'm talking about, man. The, the one he had with... um. Michael Keaton showed up as Batman. They had the Batgirl in there. It was pretty dope. I ain't gonna front. I liked it, that one. On the on the one time viewing, on the first time viewing it, it was pretty dope. But Blue Beetle, I didn't see that. The costume looked great. The commercials looked good. Uh, you know, I ain't see no no bad guy. I never heard of Blue Beetle. It looked like a um a Marvel movie, but it was DC because I never heard of Blue Beetle. So big shout out to Blue Beetle. Do your Blue Beetle things, Blue Beetle. Wow. This was a throwback right here. The Shadow. This one, Alec Baldwin, before Rust. What was that? Stephen Baldwin. This one of them Baldwin boys. I think that is Alec Baldwin. Yeah. 
it is Alec Baldwin, but The Shadow. This was a superhero movie that came out back in the the, the nineties, yo. I thought this was pretty good. They had a big campaign for toys about this, man. It's, them shadow toys. Them shadow toys were dope. Back in the days, man. It's like if you look, man, this big I'm I'm old, man. I'm forty one. Yeah, I'm forty one. So I remember back in the days, man, they had like the best cartoon commercial I mean the toy commercials. Like Robocop had some good toys. Batman always had good toys. Ninja Turtles had good toys. The Shadow. This this movie right here had some great toys, man. He all had two guns. He was dope. He had the mask on with that. Kind of looked like Dark Man a little bit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But yo, this was pretty good. The movie don't do not remember it. I just remember the toys, man. So this could be a heroic flop. Here we go. The Rock shows up again. G.I. Joe Retaliation. He messed this movie up, man. He messed this movie up. I did not like him in this movie. Um, G.I. Joe 1, believe it or not, was all right. I kind of like G.I. Joe 1, the one that had um, Marlon Wayans in it. And I don't like no Marlon Wayans movies like that, man. I, I ain't like White Chicks. I ain't like Little Man. I don't, you know, I ain't no big fan of Marlon Wayans, but Marlon Wayans did good in that movie. For some reason, I'm looking like, damn, Marlon Wayne's pretty good in this movie. It was the first time I ever said that. So Marlon Wayne's he did good in G.I. Joe 1, The Rise of Cobra. Um, what's my boy's name? He played Robin in The um, Last Batman. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He played in the movie. But this one right here, right here, ugh, trash. I did not like this movie. It didn't keep the whole concept of the first movie. It didn't have the same feel. They got to do something with that, man. Cause this could have been a dope movie. Just like this one right here, Snake Eyes. I did not like this movie. The um, G.I. Joe Origins, Snake Eyes. It's like, come on, man. Y'all mess these movies up, man. It's like y'all just trying to... What, Hasbro? Y'all trying to capitalize off what you call it, man? Just, you know, capitalize off the name and the likeness and tell it. I don't know, man. I ain't like that movie, though. It, 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 it could have been so good. I mean, it, it looked good, like the aesthetics of it. Like I said, these movies, they be put together well, but there ain't no story behind them. That's why, be, that's why they be flops. Ain't nothing you can hold on and gravitate to. Ain't nothing you can sit there and be like, oh, I want to watch this again. I want to see a part two. I want to see a part three. And when they make movies like that, it's like, come on, man. Y'all just, just give it up. Shang-Chi. Um, this is another one of the movies, man. When I said, as I said, they went to the girls, man. They had old girl, what's her name? Aquafina running around with Shang Chi and the Ten Rings and all this stuff. Man, I want to see this mess, man. I did not like this movie either. I don't even remember it. I seen it one time. This ain't good enough to watch twice. Maybe I gotta watch twice to get the, you know, the whole thing to find out more about it. It ain't got nothing to do with by they being Asian. It just ain't a story that I can stick, I can gravitate to, man. It's not good. Mortal Kombat, the new Mortal Kombat. They could have kept that, man. It looked good, some of the action in it, the sequences and stuff, but mm, I like the old Mortal Kombat. That looked better, especially the first one. Just seeing your superheroes on TV, pretty dope. And last but not least, Street Fighter. Mm, mm, mm. This has to be one of the worst casting jobs ever. On this movie, man. It's the worst cast ever for a superhero movie. Video game is oh, I hated that movie, man. Street Fighter. Um <laughs> first of all, you can't he can't disguise his voice for nothing, can he? What's his name? Sean Claude Van Damme. Sean Claude Van Damme. He an American, he supposed to be guile, but he's not like <laughs> Sound French. <laughs> Raul Julia. R.I.P. to Gomez back there. But you Gomez, how you gonna play M. Bison? Chun Li, you could put any Asian woman in there. I'm sorry. I don't know. She probably did a good job. Like they had Ken and Raul. I, I did a video about this, man. Matter of fact, about the casting of Street Fighter. I'm gonna put it on in the in the link or put it down as a um after the video go off. You'll see it, man. That's kind of crazy though. But yeah. Some of these are heroic flops, man. 
Y'all tell me if I missed anything. Do y'all know any movies that I might have missed, man, on these heroic flops? Because some of these movies just flops. They didn't do good. Some of them good, though. I like some of them. These are all my opinion, though. Y'all tell me y'all opinion on this matter, man. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. And I'll let your boy, Heist Man the Fool, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinion. This is a dangerous group is it groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.